These are the top five reasons why Mass Effect 3 will kick ass. Reason number one. Increased customization. One of the things that's always disappointed me about Mass Effect is how little customization there is. And it's been even more streamlined as of late. The loot is boring, everything you get looks pretty much the same. Well, thankfully, supposedly they are expanding this. You can upgrade weapons at weapon benches, add modifications like increased damage, range, accuracy, and these changes will actually be reflected on the in-game weapon model so they'll actually look different from each other. You're also given an expanded branching skill tree for your powers now, leveling up each of your character's powers through 6 ranks with branching options after level 3 offering a few more abilities and a super powered version towards the end of the tree. Hopefully this, along with others, will make the game feel as if it has more options to personalize your characters. Reason number two. Hey, I can run here if you Improved want combat mechanics and connect voice commands. Shepard feels faster and more agile in the recent demo. He's gained the ability to kill enemies in this really cool close combat mode with the Omni Blade. Getting from cover to cover felt easier in general, and there seemed to be a better level design all around so that Shepard can take advantage of these new abilities. There's ladders, plenty of cover, and multiple access points. You'll be going to top levels, bottom levels, putting down fire from above and below. Further easing combat, Shepard can now control his squad mates via voice command through the Kinect. Kinect voice command should help you feel even more involved in the action, actually putting you in the game in a way. It's a very small thing and it's optional, but here's hoping it actually gives me a reason to use my damn connect. I don't need her trust. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Are you here to kill me? Of course not. We're here to take you home. Reason number three. Earth. We've seen glimpses of the Earth, our homeworld, but we've never actually got to set foot on our own planet. Mass Effect 3 finally brings the fight home. From the demo, we know the game starts in Vancouver for a hearing on Shepard's actions in the Arrival DLC. But the trailers have shown the Reapers attacking London as well. Considering some of my favorite parts in Modern Warfare were fighting street to street, house to house in my own backyard, I hope that Mass Effect does something similar with intense ground battles with emotion. Evoking feelings of the end of our world, our galaxy even, if we don't stop them here, all is lost. I want to see plenty of carnage on Earth, NPCs fighting in the distance, and even though the demo had us leave to get help, when we return here, I want to bring the hammer down on these Reapers once and for all, getting them off my damn planet. Reason number four. This is Shepard. Civilians have been evac. Special forces can take it from here. Cooperative multiplayer modes. I don't see why everyone is so upset by multiplayer. Calm the hell down. The idea that they don't have enough developers or money to develop a multiplayer mode separate and in addition to this vast single player experience is just short sighted. Like I was one of those asking for multiplayer and I'm really happy we're getting it. Now I asked for cooperative multiplayer throughout the whole story over Xbox Live. Unfortunately that's not what we're getting, but I'm still hopeful multiplayer will be a worthwhile addition, adding value to the overall experience, another reason to buy the game. We will get to choose what race and class we'd like to play as in this mode, taking control of some races for the first time ever. The Krogans, the Turians, the Quarians, each will feel unique and unlike Shepard who we've all been limited to before. However, it is one that I'm a little bit skeptical on how extensive it is, how fun it will be. We'll just have to wait and find out. 
And I better not see a fucking Special Forces spinoff, though, because I will break my foot off in your ass. Mass Effect is about deep, engaging story experience within an RPG-like setting, which is starting to be forgotten here. So we need to remind people with the next reason. Reason number five. The final story and relationships are. This is it, folks. The conclusion of Shepard's story. The Reapers are here. Cerebus have gone bad for some trite reason. And it's time to call in all your old favors because you're gonna need all the help you can get. Now, I'm not sure how the hell they're gonna top the final moments in Mass Effect 2. Your companions were at risk, and it's a sure thing they will be even more so here in this final battle. Hell, some of them might not even be able to be saved no matter what you do. In the previous game, fighting a single Reaper felt monumental. I hope that fighting thousands doesn't somehow lessen the experience, but I have full confidence in Bioware's ability to tell a story, to up the stakes and give us a satisfying conclusion to this series. No other game gives you the ability to carry over your story and decisions from game to game that have impact on the future, and Bioware is looking to increase this actual impact in even smaller sized engagements, making for massive replayability. Especially over the course of three games. If you've played the demo, you know Mass Effect hopes to tug at your heartstrings by showing real consequences to a Reaper invasion. Hopefully, there's a lot more of these types of scenes in the game. I cannot wait to find out. Ugh, the Jersey Shoreification of Mass Effect. What the hell is going on here? Like, literally, th is this another side effect of trying to make Mass Effect mainstream appeal to just everyone and anyone at the cost of just its focus and identity? Seriously, no, the best way to put this, just, just watch. Hey, 